Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is the evening of June 8th, Saturday. I thought I'd show you the spray show over the sunset. Earlier, you could more clearly see the halo, I call it. People say it's a reflection of the firmament dome. I also think it's very much a sign of the Lord's coming, not just the heat, but the visual sign because they go to great, great lengths anytime that feature appears. They can't allow the world to see it, although I don't think it matters. I think the world wouldn't really notice. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm seated in my backyard field in a way. I was thinking of where can I go to make a video. I went one way and there were boaters and four-wheelers and nonsense and I started going the other way and there were dogs and homeless people and I'm tired of it. And then I thought, thank you, Lord. The Lord gave me a buffer of a little bit of land here and I'm just going to park here and do it don't need to go far. I'm linking a sister in Christ's video, her dream of, she's had many of Barack Obama. This was today or yesterday. She had this dream. And I wanted to mention it now that I'd had a flash dream of something related to other Obama dreams that I've had. This one didn't include Obama, but yesterday morning I had a flash dream of the beast from the sea. Uh, it was an ocean by the shore and a very empty beach other than one beach chair fairly near the water and someone seated in it. But it was what came out of the water that mattered. Um, it was a sea creature, which I believe represents the beast from the sea. And it was a matted bunch of like seaweed, not an octopus, but almost like lots of seaweed, but lots of tentacles um, or like one of the old fashioned rope mops as you're mopping in all those long threads get intertwined but it was large and it went towards the man seated in the chair who saw it coming and whacked at it and it receded and he was pretty sure you know all was well but then he didn't see another tentacle come back out and it got him that tentacle to me represents the beast and also the little horn from Daniel and the rest of it are the ten kings to me, and, and then that one who's the head. And they give their authority to the beast, and they all go to make war against the lamb, Jesus Christ, at Armageddon eventually. But in the meantime, they drink from the cups of fornications and filthiness and wickedness of the earth. They give their authority to the beast. They burn the whore with fire, mystery Babylon. And this other tentacle that took the person by surprise might represent that even those of us who are pretty aware of what's going on, you know, we could get blindsided if we're not really paying attention to everything. I think anything with Obama, we're all going to be very clear on what's going on, but I don't know if there's some way that even the very elect might get taken by surprise or blindsided. All right, well, you hear some of the other sounds in the background of the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm very grateful to the Lord. A little cabin by the woods with a buffer from the world around us. All right, well, God bless you. Um, I would say more of it. I'll just keep it short for now. And if you want to look back on my channel, you see my other dream of Obama amidst a bunch of men at a bar on bar stools. That's, I loved that dream. It was Revelation 17 and 18 in a quick dream. They were packed really closely together and then I recognized one of the backs I was looking at was Obama's back. And then this little thing, and then what she saw, this man with Bar Barack Obama speaking to a crowd and he was wearing a necklace that had an amulet, like a talisman, evil, wicked power is what that represents. And he was wearing it face to his back it was on his back so the people seeing him from the front didn't see it anyway that's it for now take care god bless you in jesus christ our glorious lord and savior